Right now, the Federal Reserve has just published the minutes from its last meeting in March. And, of course, it was the first under uh, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell where Fed officials raised rates. And the headline here is that the Fed saw significant fiscal policy growth boost for the next few years and that a strong majority of Fed officials saw a trade war as a downside mm. risk. So uh, we were certainly heading into the release of this Fed minutes, Julia, with a lot of concern over how the Fed would view the possibility of a trade war. Of course, so far, it's just been a lot of rhetoric. Nothing has actually uh, really happened in so far as we haven't gotten the firm responses from the two countries as they ratchet up their different And Jay Powell, of course, had avoided as best he could talking about this. And the economic impact, obviously, is critical on this, too. So actually, the expectation was we might perhaps see them calibrate the message and at least start talking about the possibility. Mm. And as you point out, strong majority of Fed officials are saying simply that a trade war has a downside risk as far as the economic outlook is concerned. Obviously, some uh, usual points as far as the higher deficits and the source of downside risks here, fiscal stimulus effects remain uncertain, particularly at the full employment level where we sit right now. And the pace of wage gains still moderate, of course. We're still waiting for that more that language has not changed. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> should we take a quick look at uh, what we've seen as far as market reaction is concerned? Just giving you a sense there of, of overall markets. You can see the Nasdaq in positive territory, higher Pretty by much holding one on to the gain. of 1%, yeah. but a very little reaction as far as the market is concerned. I think everybody concerned about the downside risks here as far as a, a potential trade war and a stepping up of uh, the concerns there are. So uh, I don't think anything really material in what they're saying there. No. Shall, uh, do you want to mention anything else? No, no, no. We'll keep you posted if, if there are any further moves here in yeah. across different asset classes. But right now, it looks like uh, most of the focus is very much on uh, this hawkish tone on tax cuts and, and the prospect of a fiscal boost in the next couple of years.